Hey Pete here for Studio Live today. It is time for a GarageBand quick jam about the bit crusher effect here in GarageBand iOS. Let's go. So what the heck is a bit crusher? How do we use one? And why would we use one here in GarageBand? Well, I'm glad you asked. Here is our bit crusher plugin over here. We have two settings here. First is our resolution. Now, our audio resolution or our bit rate here in GarageBand by default is 24 bit. That's our maximum bit rate or our maximum resolution of audio. We can dial this back all the way to one bit and then right back up to 24 bit. The other setting we have here for our bit crusher is our down sampling, which is our sample rate of our audio. Now, by default, once again, it's 44.1 kilohertz, but every time we drop this down, it halves that sample rate right down to 40 times, which is a very low sample rate. So this is going to make our sound much more lo-fi, much more old school kind of sound because it's going to reduce our resolution and reduce our bit rate. So how do we use the bit crusher here in GarageBand? Well, let's grab this distorted guitar. At the moment, it sounds like this. So a very standard sort of distorted sound. If we wanted to add a bit crusher, we go into our plugins and EQ by tapping on the little mix icon, tapping on plugins and EQ. Now let's tap edit and we'll hit the plus button here and we'll go bit crusher. And now we can add our bit crusher effect. By default, we've got eight bit and a three times down sampling. Let's take a listen to how that sounds. <laughs> So it's given it that lo-fi kind of low fidelity sound. And what we can do is we can actually dial this back. Let's make it like five bit and up the down sampling to six times and take a listen. So what if we wanted to try this on our vocal sound? Well, here is our lead vocal for this track. Let's play it as it is now. Recognition can be the hardest part. But what if we wanted to make this a little bit more of a lo-fi kind of sound? Well, we can go into our plugins and EQ once again. We can go to our bit crusher and let's drop this down. Let's make it say 12 bit and let's put the down sampling up to four times and take a listen. Recognition can be the hardest part. And if we dial this around, we can find a nice happy medium here between a high quality sound and that little bit of distorted low fidelity. And leave you foaming at the mouth. My repulsion. So you can hear that used subtly, the bit crusher effect can add that little bit of extra distortion, that little bit of lo-fi sound that is going to make your tracks sound extra cool. And if you use it in moderation, then you can really add some good effects to your tracks and improve your songs here in GarageBand. And there you go. How cool is the bit crusher effect here in GarageBand iOS? If you've got any comments, questions or suggestions, you can leave those down below and I'll see you on the next video. Hey, thanks for sticking around. We've got a whole bunch more GarageBand quick jams. You can check those out in the links below. You can also subscribe to the channel by clicking on the Studio Live Today icon in the top right or head over to studiolivetoday.com for more audio goodness.